Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, you sexy sluts. Apologies for calling you a sexy slut there, but I felt it was really inappropriate and probably the worst thing I could open a video with, so that's why I said it. But you've probably seen a video on the internet of a bunch of little children. <laughs> getting lots of presents and toys and gifts from the man, the myth, the legend, Santa Claus himself, forward slash mummy and daddy. It is sensational bit of tackle for you boys. Now, just like with Christmas, there are spoiled kids galore, raining down their presents. Me, I was never spoiled as a kid. I got a good amount of toys. I'd always get a video game that I had to beg. Please, I know it's an 18, but it's only Batman, please. God, I can't remember how many times I had to get on my hands. Oh. I was going to say hands and knees and beg, but it just kind of makes it sound weird. But anyway, spoiled kids galore. Let's investigate. These mohos should not be given extreme. That's a problem with kids today as well. Let's be real. They are all spoiled. They have a cushy life. No longer. Back when I was a kid, you had to hunt for food. You had to find a water source. If your dad beat you, you couldn't report it to the police because then the police would beat you for reporting it. Times have changed. For better or worse, well, probably for worse, looking at how society's going. But let's check these kiddie winks out. <laughs> That's what Jimmy Savile said. Ready? Go ahead, Jack. Go. So as you can see, they have both received the PS5. Their mum and dad have gone hunting, managed to steal it off a little kid and got one for their son. Now, if that was me, I'd be screaming, I'd be going mental, I'd run away, I'd take the box and I'd be setting up by now. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be wasting time sitting around and, oh, it's a PS5, thanks mum. Nah, it goes straight in the bad boy. So this little boy right here, he's not too impressed, which is a shock, but unsurprising because who doesn't want a PS5? I, they're the best. But this kid's far from pleased. It's a PS5. Oh my god. Oh my god. I wanted a PC. <laughs> So, as the man said, as the kid spoke and uh, raised his voice, I want a PC. So, not only did he not want a console, he wanted a PC, you know, $2,000 or whatever it is to uh, play Minecraft and possibly play something like Roblox at 1080p. I mean, what more does a little boy want? All the games, all the exclusives you can play on that and you want to play on your PC to play Roblox. Like, get a life, kid. This was my kid and he said he wanted a PC after I bought him a PS5. I'd take it back, I'd get me money, I'd come back and I'd be like, you're not having anything for Christmas. Or, I take the PS5, go into my room, set it up and play it myself and he couldn't even look at it. I wouldn't even let him hold the controller. He would not be able to be in the presence of my PS5. If you want a PC, go get yourself one, young man. What, you're six years old? We can get you in a Nike sweatshop. You can start working from a young age. Start saving by the time you're 30. You might actually get there. So if, if that's the game you want to play, mate, and you want a PC, I'll, I'll, I'll give Nike a call. Got a lovely little worker here, boys. Uh, yeah, he, his hands work. Yeah, two feet. Um, Yeah, he just wants enough money to save for PS5, but he's not in any rush. Oh, 50p a day 50p a day all right that'll only take you like six thousand days yeah 50p a day is all right for him i'll i'll send him across now Do, should should i bring him any clothes oh they don't work in clothes okay got you <laughs> He truly does not want it. Not only has he expressed his disappointment by saying he wanted a PC, wanted a computer to play Roblox, this little shit of a six-year-old, he has also told his mummy to return it. So, not only does he have the audacity to tell her it's not what he wants and that he's not happy about it, he's then telling her what to do with it and that's basically, put it in the bin, you might as well. Return it from whence it came. <sighs> Kids these days have no idea what hard work is, do they? We're going to run into a serious problem in 10 years' time when the workforce is so young and they don't ex they've don't they not experienced anything that's actually like hard work. You know what I mean? They'll just get given things and complain and now mummy wants to please him on Christmas. Of course she does. She's a, his mother. So she'll stress around, go find a PC. I mean, kids like this just should be drop kicked. I'm sorry. I know you shouldn't wish violence upon anyone, but sometimes it's for the greater good. Now this next one here, because just like Christmas comes every year, every year there are spoiled kids and we got another one today into this young gentleman here with the tight white jeans like he's painting your mum's front lounge he too is a spoilt little brat not only is his trim fresher than a pack of blueberries i just bought five minutes ago his sister in the back is wearing what could only be presumed as a shower cap not my choice not my personal look but you know everyone does it so let, let's play the clip what does this young gentleman fancy and what does he think about christmas and santa claus I wanted? Oh, oh, 
<laughs> Look at her in the back. <laughs> so he's made it abundantly clear that's not a what we wanted. Now he got an Xbox, unfortunate guy, you know. Xbox is like the poor man's uh, Android, you know what I mean? It's like when you get asked for an iPhone but you get given an Android, no one wants an Xbox these days. That was a joke, just a prank. I like an Xbox. Um, I'm actually playing a lot of Game Pass games right now. He wanted a PS5 by the look of it, and who can blame him? You know, he's got games like God of War, The Last of Us, Spooderman, all these valuable games that he wants to play instead. He's got an Xbox. <laughs> Poor, poor bloke. It's one thing to say you don't want it, but like, if this was me, I think I'd be like, "Oh yeah, it's amazing! It's amazing! No, thank you, thank you, so thank you, thank you so much, mum. Yeah, no, it's it's awesome. Oh no, well, I think I, I, I said PS5, but it doesn't matter though. I, I love this thing, and she'd be like, "Oh no, I got you the wrong one. Let me take it back." You'd be like, "Yes, bitch, you are. Take it back. All right, take that shit. I don't want to. I'm not touching that. That's a sin. That's against everything I believe. You know, it's like being religious in the religion of uh, being religious in the religion of Christianity and then reading the Quran. It doesn't make any sense, mum. All right, it doesn't make any sense. I've ruined my reputation as a PS5 player, as a PlayStation man, as a PS5 gangster. Now I'm gonna have to pretend I like a Microsoft account. Ugh, God. What the hell? Like, for real, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? For real, what the fuck? So, obviously, this little kid here, he's not happy about it. He's not having it. His dad's, more importantly, not having it. Like I said, I think we should bring back um, <clears throat> the ability to slap people. Not only kids, but human beings, you know what I mean? I don't think it should be a rule. You know, GBH is bullshit. If you accidentally slap someone and they fall and land on the red, I mean... I mean, look at the sisters. Their sisters are confused. His sisters are confused. They look so, like, what the hell? This spoiled little shit brat doesn't even want it. And he just throws it down as well. He, like... Like, lobs it on the carpet, uh, on the carpet, on the bloody sofa, and he's like, This ain't what I wanted! God damn, all my friends are gonna think I'm a complete loser freak! While we're here, why don't you go follow my Twitter? It's a great, it's a great place for you to, you know, do stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Thank you very much for your cooperation, your belief in me. Constant fighting and violence in my name is truly outstanding. I can't believe this cult that we're creating is growing at such an expansive rate. I want you to join it, so subscribe, like, comment. More importantly, though, I hope you're doing okay. What, how's life treating you? Okay, nice. Really? That's cool. Oh, wow. Very good. I'm so impressed. Thank you for telling me. But my life's pretty miserable and boring at the moment, so I've got nothing other than sadness and desperation and tears throughout my day. So thanks for asking. But anyway, I'm going to leave that there. Spoiled kids. They're the worst. Bin them off. Bin them off. Who likes children anyway? Fucking shit. Fucking shit. Why's Daredevil trending? Two weeks, Daredevil was back. Thank God. I love Daredevil. Anyway, ladies, gentlemen, boys and the girls, have a great time and give me a whirl.